Charlie can eat the pineapples. If Charlie collides into an object like the platform, Charlie will stop. The next step is to have some type of score dashboard using the flame text component system. Let's get that configured. In my world here, I'm going to create a subfolder for dashboard. And right now, initially, there'll just be one dashboard component. So I'll create a file called score.dart. And in here, we'll create a class score that extends the text component. And text component is from the flame game system. We're going to keep the score itself, the the integer within the game ref of the chicken game. So we're using the chicken game as kind of a holder for the state of our game application. And it's going to get a string for score. Because this thing is a text component, you it's going to already have an onload method that's built into it from the flame system. So initially we'll just run the super constructor. This is from the flame game system. It's kind of like boilerplate. And need to create some type of score holder for Charlie. Put it right in main. Let's see. Initially, he'll have low energy because he hasn't eaten any pineapples yet. So we're holding the Charlie energy as an integer here. You can see the word int within the game, but we're going to convert it to a string with the dart method to string, which is on almost all of the objects within dart. This is the key component, right? Uh, this is a, a key learning point here. The position type is it's from flame and it's part of the component. So we're going to specify the position type to the viewport. So what's the viewport? The viewport is the playable portion of the game. So right now the screen map is locked to the game size. So uh, this might not matter as much, but when we start moving Charlie around the screen, if the, if the map was bigger than, then the the map size was bigger than the mobile screen size, we'd have to change this. So if we just lock it to the viewport, um, the score will stay in the same position. So all of this is from the position component, which the text component extends the position component. So that's why you, you have all of these. Um, the text, the, this text here is from the text component. But the position and the position type are from this component, which is from flame.
and we need to update the text when it appears. Because it's a position component or a component of Flame, it has a built-in update method. It's kind of a fundamental concept of building a Flame game system that there's a, there's a set of components and each of the components it oftentimes will extend a component or a position component, and it has some built-in methods to that. Go back into the main dot dart and let's attempt to load the screen, the text screen. Right now there's no score. Let's try to add it. Drop it in right below the joystick. Score is right here. Uh, we're not updating it on the collision, so even if Charlie hits a pineapple, there's no update to the score at this point. So Charlie is now, when Charlie gets the pineapple, the score is updated. Oh, he's... So I think the last thing I'll do is take off the debug mode here. Well, the default is false, so just comp it out so that we can easily put it back in if we want to. You could change the map here if you want to. Make your own map in tiled and play the game. You could, uh, for example, add a timer. And if you know, there's a countdown timer, or the Lena game had this, and if uh, Charlie gets all the panels in the time frame, you could go to the next screen. I think I'm gonna stop it here. Look forward to your feedback as to what you want to see in the future. And have a great day.